In this video, we're going to cover geometry brushes and using them to lay out a level, exporting geometry brushes to your 3D software, and how to easily manipulate the brush pivot and rotation. We're going to cover using geometry brushes to lay out a level now. Inside of the content examples, which is something you can find on the Learn tab, if you go to the Learn tab and look for content examples, you can find the content examples project. Inside of there, we can find the level design workflow map. If we were to go to File, Open Level, Level Design Workflow, and you'll see a basic workflow example of how you can create your level quickly and efficiently. And the first one is our prototype pass. If we were to go ahead and go into our prototype level here, we'll actually find the basic layout for what we expect we're going to end up with. But every mesh that we see here is actually a geometry brush. It's a brush that's created inside of the geometry section here. And we can easily manipulate the size, the scale, and whether or not they work together efficiently in order to basically lay out our level. So rather than having your designer mock up meshes and you wait on your content creation to be done, you could have someone quickly mock out a level and then we can export that to our 3D software and they can actually manipulate it to the scales and dimensions that we want. In this tip, we're going to show you how to export the geometry brushes to your 3D software so you can manipulate them later. Right here we have our level set up and we have a few brushes, but our artist wants to manipulate them, maybe change the UV layout, whatever they'd like to do. We need to get it out. It's pretty simple. Clicking on our brushes, there is an advanced menu. By default it might be hidden, so if we show it, we have the create static mesh option. Go ahead and click that, it'll ask you where you wish to export it. In this case I'm going to export it into a folder named meshes and call this SM stair. I'm going to go ahead and create this and you'll find that this mesh has now been replaced sorry this brush has now been replaced with a mesh instead of the brush actors as you can see here we now have a static mesh actor and if we were to open it up we have access to all of our static mesh settings if we wish to get this out we can right click on our mesh asset actions and export it's going to ask us where to save it i'm going to go ahead and save it in my exported meshes folder and it'll be saved out now we have our static mesh file here. We could easily import it into our content creation software. For example, I can open this up in Modo and I can now manipulate it and do whatever I'd want as an artist. Once I'm done with it and I save it out, I now have a mesh that I can bring back into the system. That's pretty simple. What you want to do is delete the mesh itself or re-import in as a changed version this mesh is inside of the system so if we were to open it up we're not going to find any extra options we would need to for example to delete this mesh then import the mesh itself so in this case the stair and once it comes back in we're going to now have our stair that we can now manipulate in our world put it back wherever we want do whatever we want with it and we are going to now have our properly materialed up and settings and basically it's your mesh. Now if your content creation software modifies this later, for example we have our original mesh and then we were to do something with it, it's easy to update the changes. If you up it, open your mesh, you can just go into asset, re-import, and it will re-import the mesh with any of the changes you make. In this tip, we're going to show you how to easily manipulate geometry brush pivot and rotation. Let's say I've created a box, and this is a geometry brush that I'm going to go ahead and use for my level layout. Now, by default, if we look at this box, we're going to find our pivot point is in the middle, and we're not really happy with that. Now, you cannot modify a geometry brush pivot point without editing it first. Now what we would do is create a static mesh out of it. So let's go ahead and do meshes. We'll call this one our static mesh box. And we'll go ahead and create it. Now that we have our box, if we were to attempt to manipulate it, we're going to find we don't have the options. Unreal Engine allows you to modify the pivot and rotation of an imported mesh, but only an imported mesh. Since this is a created mesh, we don't have those options. 
So after we've converted this to a mesh, we can simply delete the instance in our game. We'll go ahead and export this out. We'll call this one our box. We'll get rid of our original, or we can always rename it. So in this case, let's go and rename it. We'll go do box old. We'll go ahead and import in the actual box that we exported. Once it comes back in, we have our ability to manipulate the transform to adjust our pivot point. So let's say I want my pivot point at 50, 50 on the Y and 50 on the Z. Let's see where this puts it. And we'll go ahead and import it. Once we pull in our box that we've gotten and we look at it, we can find that our manipulator is now, well, it's in a different location. Now it may not be correct and that's fine. If we open up our stack mesh again, we have access to those manipulation options again, right here. So we can easily adjust this. So for example, I might want this one to be 100, 100, 100. Once we're done with our new options, we can just do asset re-import. And now our box has our pivot point readjusted. So if I was to rotate around, we'll now see our pivot point is in our bottom left. And of course you can modify it wherever you want. This is useful if you need to have good snapping options. Now that it's in the corner, I can easily have a fixed width for my snapping point. This does work on any imported mesh. So for example, our stair mesh, which we exported earlier, if we were to drop this into our scene, we're gonna find that our pivot point might not be exactly where we want it. It looks like it's off by a little bit. We want it in the bottom corner. So it's off on the Z. We could easily open up the stack mesh. We can go, okay, we want it translated about 10 on the Z. We'll go and re-import. We'll look at our level and you will notice, well, it's almost there. It looks like it's off by a little bit. We can easily go back to the stair. It's 20, it looks like. We'll go ahead and re-import. Now we look at it and our pivot is exactly where we want it now. Let's delete this box and this box. So that's it. That is the easy way to easily manipulate the transform location and rotation or your pivot point on a static mesh or geometry brush.